we did forget something. And it's this here. Yeah, I told you the thing that defines the groups in your data should be a factor or you will get into trouble. Now the trouble that you get in when you compare two groups is small, but when it's an ANOVA that you're going to do, he will be very picky about it. That thing that you write here, the grouping variable has to be a factor to do it right. And we should do like this. So we have to replace the gear column with the factorized version of the gear column. When I do this, note this thing here, the estimate. Now it's minus nine now. When I do it again, but this time with the factorized gear column, so exactly the same code, and I look at the tidy, you see it has changed. So what this should be normally, if you have done the test right, is the same as what you see here in the TDOL test output. So the, the mean of the first group, 